I mean, I heard their sports is not that good here. Sport not good here? Yeah. Not, not normal. Because they're constantly competing against the uh, University of Georgia. Oh, is and, that any better? I think, I think for sports, yes, they are much better. But academically, obviously Georgia Tech is more, you know, prestigious in a way. So they just don't like each other. Like even my professor in, uh, I'm taking like a class called simulation. <clears throat> so usually in his quiz, one of the multiple choices is like, oh, I don't know the answer because I'm from like University of Georgia. I'm just too stupid to know the answer. Okay. And then, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Mike. Um, welcome back to my channel. This is kind of like a vlog for me, so I'm just gonna like re really quickly talk about why why I continue to to get my uh, getting my second master in computer science at Georgia Tech, uh, despite the fact that I just finished off my degree at uh, University of Chicago MSEA program. Uh, because I, you know, first the reason is like I like to learn. I like continue my study. I like the school environment, um, which is you know very ideal, very safe, um, you know, full of like politics or bureaucracy, but at the same time full of like lives and full of like people who are dying to learn, full of people who work very hard. Um, you know, it's it's kind of person con I for me to like about this environment, and uh, I, I really like learn new stuff. Uh, I feel like through a class to learn new stuff, it kind of pushes me to systematically make progressions on like intake on the knowledge. Uh, even though I, I can't accept the fact that since I'm working professional while I'm in school, there I cannot really fully do school in 100% mode, which is okay because like as a student, I got distracted easy. I have like a slight like ADHD, so. Uh, repeating learning the same thing works for me. For example, if, if I take like machine learning classes like myself at Udemy and I took it at U Chicago and I, I maybe like uh, learn how to build certain models through, uh, throughout my job or career here and there, um, I, I still can, can tell you that I'm not expert in building models. There's still so many things to learn um, and also, I, I will if I don't use end up like a, keep using certain knowledges in data science or building models, machine learnings, I will lose it like uh, over the time, right? So you know, going back to just kind of review some of the stuff I learned before, but also like intake on some intake on some of the new stuff, um, like you know, human centered inter interaction, like robotics or a system uh, driven type of knowledge, which I'm like suck at. Um, I don't know what what the hell is networking. I don't know uh, what is system. Like it be, I don't know what is like I know what's cloud, but I really don't know how. You know how can I do like use cloud technology in an administrative way because that's just not how I how I function. What I do in my daily job as data scientist. You know I'm not cloud engineer. I'm not a like a deep senior level data engineer. So. You know, those things I can learn and because those are new knowledge, you know, that help me to become more versatile in this industry. Uh, so why not? And the second reason I wish to continue my um, second master at Georgia Tech is because its reputation is pretty good. It's, you know, ranked the number one online master in computer science throughout the whole United States. Um, it's very flexible that you can graduate in five years and uh, everything's purely online, so you can take it anywhere in the world. Uh, it has a huge amount of like alumni uh, base. I, I don't know if it's like a 10K or 16K of people who are just like within, like currently enrolled in this program, which is crazy. If you think about like the networks where the people that you can connect with are just like, limitless and uh, I know a lot of them are either students fresh out of college or they're most of them I see around me are working in some sort of job either they're in tech job software engineer job or data scientist or system engineer um, they are taking the cl uh, classes at Georgia Tech like me so um, I think the networks is uh, like basis is, is going to be crazy uh, the other reason I'm, ta I'm taking this master is because of cost, like, right? So I already spent like maybe 60K um, investment at the University of Chicago, which I already got my money back. Um, you know, I got my RI 
back pretty well. But you know, I still I still had had to spend 60k. I have to save it. I have to work hard. I have to pay for it um, to get that prestigious name as Union of Chicago versus Georgia Tech as like a really really good like a really really prestigious like tech school. And then with this program, very flexible program that only costs like um, less than 10k for me to graduate. I think it's a really really good deal for me to really take the classes because it's very affordable with my salary with my saving and it's very you know um in, in but obviously the time investment is just is way more because it's very exam based um spoiler alert it's not very project based um so i, I will make a separate video to talk about the difference between you know project based uh, graduate program versus exam based graduate program there's a pros and cons to each of them but I prefer I prefer project based because I'm I'm stuck at exams, but you know anyway that's like another topic we'll talk about that later. Um yeah like you know the cost is very cheap and uh, it's totally affordable. You know why not? Um the other reason I wanted to take the Georgia Tech is because also of the you know potential job opportunities right. Um, I'm investing my time mostly in this program. Like I'm taking the class, I'm like doing the homework, I'm doing project, I'm like really spending my time, which I can do either do something else or I can just you know using this program. Um, I wish you know I can get a better pay job in the future. And uh, through George Tech with the Lumina connection, with the career connection, you know, with like big tech company like or big retailer company. Um, maybe there is a you know more opportunity for me to get connected with organizations or companies or employers. So yeah, that's the reason why I started George Tech. And then uh, here are some of the video clips that I will uh, like w uh, at the time I was like visiting George Tech, and then uh, it's like a vlog uh, walking around the campus. Like a welcome to check it out. Peace. So I'm walking around Georgia Tech. It's like they're, um, I kind of just came from their bookstore and they bought a bunch of like their souvenirs. Um, I think I'm around their like a business school or something. And uh, yeah, it's cool to see the campus. I don't really see anything particularly beautiful yet, uh, but let's see compared to Penn State or, you know, uh, University of Chicago. But, it's a new college. The winter in Atlanta is like actually not that bad. It's definitely better than Chicago, uh, but it's definitely still cold and uh, less bearable. I kind of like it. Here you go, this is their business school. Hi everyone. Hey, this is VJ and he's from New Chicago. We used to take classes together. We're in the club together, and then he's like the only one I know end up in Atlanta, and I'm having to go to like school in Georgia Tech right now, so like I'm here to pay him a visit and then we'll come on campus. Yeah. Okay, uh, now I see the views. Alright, now I see.
Do 